Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters and welcome to another episode of Hadith Weekly. This week I'd like to share with you a, a beautiful hadith from the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa where he says, إِنَّ الْعَبْدَ لَيَبْلُغُ بِحُسْنِ خُلُقِهِ عَظِيمَ دَرَجَاتِ الْآخِرَةِ وَشَرَفَ الْمَنَازِلِ وَإِنَّهُ لَضَعِيفُ الْعِبَادَةِ The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi says, Verily a person will certainly reach the greatest degrees of the hereafter and the most noble stations through their impeccable character even if they be weak in worship. Now in this hadith, the Prophet ﷺ is highlighting the significance of having good akhlaq. Now when the Prophet ﷺ says that a person can still attain the highest degrees and the highest levels of paradise in the hereafter through good akhlaq, even if they are weak in worship, it's important to keep in mind that Va'iful ibadah does not mean to be weak in worship, does not mean that you compromise or you don't give proper attention to obligatory acts of worship. Va'iful ibadah, to be weak in worship here, means that this is someone who is not committed to performing the voluntary acts of worship, the nawafil, the mustahabbat. So if there is someone who has impeccable character, they exhibit patience, they are courteous with others, they are kind, they are gentle. Through these noble traits of character, a person can ascend to the highest levels of Jannah, even if they only do the bare minimum when it comes to acts of worship. So they are, they are performing their religious obligations, but they're not going above and beyond in terms of ritual worship. The Prophet ﷺ says in this hadith that having impeccable akhlaq can compensate for your weakness in worship. Now of course the Prophet ﷺ is not trying to discourage us from performing those recommended acts of worship, the nawafil, those mustahab uh, prayers and supplications, but rather he's highlighting the significance of akhlaq in our relationship with Allah. And if this, is the pers if this is the position of one with good akhlaq, even if they are weak in worship, imagine the lofty station of those who have impeccable character and who, who are also diligent in doing their wajib worship and also the recommended acts of worship.